On this gray evening, the old gray lady that was the Interbelt Bridge comes down piece by piece, in much the same way she went up 60 years ago. With mammoth-sized pieces of steel dancing a delicate ballet, every move is choreographed in a balance of engineering and physics. You can't just make a cut in a bridge and, and cross your fingers. It, you've got to maintain stability of the entire structure while you're taking pieces out. So it's kind of like reversing a jigsaw puzzle. But it's at night when this demolition work is at its breathtaking best. Sparks fly in a bouquet of orange and white, steel and flame sparkling against the night sky. Four of the nine spans are being taken down, in essence by hand, by a crew of 150. These sections over the river and railroad tracks need special attention. And for the final five spans, they will be imploded sometime in mid-July. It's not an explosion where things come flying up in the air. We've already removed all the concrete from the, from the bridge. So what, it's really more of an implosion. They'll make cuts into what's left of the skeleton. They'll load the explosives in there and, and then boom, 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 and it drops to the ground. And as this bridge disappears, a twin sister to the bridge opened last fall will rise. Two new bridges worth a half a billion dollars. The second bridge, five lanes wide, is slated to open November 2016. In Cleveland, on your side, Tom Livingston, News Channel 5.